Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for right around the 16th? What do we have for around the 16th? Four of Cups, Three of Wands, Reversed. So Three of Wands, Reversed is unprepared. Uh, lack of foresight. Something not being well received. Somebody may have left. They may have went someplace and they wish they didn't. You know, they wish they didn't leave or they wish they didn't go there. They wish they could go back. Um, we have somebody here that is missing an opportunity. Maybe they've missed an opportunity or they've been ignoring an opportunity. They're not very interested in the opportunity. Um, they're not happy. Definitely not happy. I feel like uh, not interested. Definitely not interested. Not interested in going anywhere may have somebody here that is experiencing some delays in success because they're unwilling to make a change they're unwilling to make a decision somebody's unwilling it's like it's time to go the grass is greener on the other side there's a bright future ahead but we have somebody here that's moping they're moping they're missing an opportunity they're not taking any action We may even have somebody here that is sick. It, you know, it feels like they're sick, they're depleted. You know, they, 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 they're ignoring something. They're ignoring something. Eight of Swords reversed. Four of Swords reversed. I do believe we have somebody here that is not very healthy. You know, they're exhausted. They're fed up. They're sick of it. They're sick of. They're sick of being in this situation. They've been trapped. They've. They've been. Maybe they've been lying to themselves. They've been in denial. Needing to break free not seeing the opportunities, missing an opportunity. Somebody's been missing an opportunity for sure. For a better life, they been they have been. Eight of Swords reverse. That's lies. That's that's needing to remove an obstacle. Somebody needs to remove an obstacle. They do. They need to. It's like this is this is exhausting. It's mentally exhausting. Four of Swords reversed. Uh, Eight of Swords reverse. It is mentally exhausting. Sick and tired, sick and tired of being in this situation, but ignoring, ignoring an opportunity, you know, uh, for support or ignoring the, the offer. Somebody has received an offer, okay, it's, it's coming from the heart, whatever this offer is. So, and somebody may be offering somebody, I don't know what they're offering them, it could be love, it could be a drink, it could be water. Um, somebody is trying to offer somebody something and this person won't take it. They won't take it. They won't, they won't, they're not interested and they're sick. There's some sort of sickness here. Um, three of wands reverse. That's lack of foresight, wasting time, missing an opportunity, restricting. Somebody's restricting themselves. They're refusing. They are absolutely refusing. There's emptiness here as well, a lot of emptiness. It's like it's time to let go of that emptiness and go in a new direction. Somebody has an offer here that they have been ignoring and they're holding on to emptiness. They're restricting themselves, you know, and I feel like they're extremely frustrated with the with the situation that they're in, but they're refusing to see that there's another opportunity. This is like, no. I'm going to sit here and, and allow myself to be a victim of these circumstances and stress kills and it's, 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 it's really a, a very exhausting situation. We have somebody here that is exhausted. 
And not only are they exhausted, they're tired. They're tired. They're, it's like complacent. Fool. Fool is about going in a new direction. Starting, uh, starting over. This is a clean slate. Taking a risk. New beginning. We have a new beginning here. We may have somebody here that is mo removing an obstacle. Maybe there's been an obstacle in the way. Maybe it was... Uh, lack of foresight. They, they had a blindfold on. They were choosing not to accept. Choosing not to see. You know, they were in some sort of denial, but this is this is stepping into new territory sudden, suddenly. Taking a risk, starting a new journey. We do have somebody here that is about to start a new journey. I do believe that we have the end of a situation with the Four of Swords. Whenever I see the Four of Swords, I think of the death, I think of, of a death of a situation. Breaking free, breaking free from a mentally exhausting situation, going in a new direction suddenly. Because wherever they've been, I don't know if they, there's just no love there or they're not interested or something like that. This is definitely going in a new direction, starting over, starting over from scratch, leaving the emptiness behind, removing, removing an obstacle, stepping into new territory, taking a risk. Somebody is going to be taking a risk. I feel like they have ignored something, but now they're, it feels like they're going to just do it. It's like, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take this opportunity. I am. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. This is acting on a whim. Ooh. Three of Swords. Three of Swords is suffering. It is pain. It is grieving. Okay, it's heartache. It's it's uh, painful separation. So somebody is separating. They are separating from something that they've been ignoring. Yes, it, it, it hurts. It hurts to break free from a situation that you felt safe in. It, 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 it hurts to break free from something that, you know, maybe you once loved or, you know, maybe it, 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 it does. It hurts to uh, step outside of your comfort zone. It's scary. There's fear here with that Eight of Swords. There's some sort of heartache. There's some sort of grief. There's some sort of pain and suffering. This is a painful separation. Somebody is breaking free. They're not interested. They're not interested in a, an offer that they have been getting. I feel like they want to go in a new direction. They've been missing an opportunity. Because they've been trapped, they've been tied to a situation that has been causing them a lot of pain. And I feel they've reached a point of, I can't do this anymore. There's too much emptiness. There's too much loneliness. I gotta go. I gotta go. So this is definitely taking a risk. Three of Cups is a celebration. It's having fun. It's socializing. Getting together. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a get together. Nine of Cups reverse. We do have somebody here that is really, really, really happy. I mean, unhappy. They Well, the Three of Cups is happy, but the Nine of Cups reverse is unhappy. They are unhappy. They want something more. They want something more. They, they may be wishing that they never got themselves into the situation that they are into now. It feels like they're it even feels like they're angry. They're angry. They're frustrated. They're like, "How do I get out of this? How do I get out of this?" This is like unable to uh, give or receive love. Somebody has been restricting themselves from love. They have. Maybe it's because maybe somebody was hoping for a reconciliation with somebody from the past. The three of wands reversed is focusing on the past when the future is bright ahead. There's a bright future ahead. 
There's another opportunity here. Take it. Take it. Stop restricting yourself. Let go of the emptiness. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. Socialize. Put yourself out there. Get together. Have fun. Take a risk. Step into new territory. Stop letting that pain restrict you. Yes, it hurt. It did. But stop focusing on the past. There's another opportunity for love here. Don't ignore it. Take it. Take it. Do something spontaneous. Open your heart. You deserve to receive. This is about receiving. Take a risk. I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to take a risk. They're going to be getting together with somebody maybe they that they ignored. It feels like they're ready. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready to heal. They're ready to live again. They're ready for a new life. They're ready for a new beginning. They're ready for happiness. I feel like deep fulfillment is coming because I think we have an individual that is removing an obstacle. They're stepping into new territory. They're acting on a whim and they're going to be happy with their decision to do so because they're going to receive. They're going to this is about give and take. They're about to receive something. This is about leaving the pain behind as well with the fool. The fool and the four of swords reverse and the three of swords. This is like leaving the pain behind. It's, it's literally, you know, acting on a whim, getting together with somebody. It's sudden. Doing something on impulse. This is a new life. It is. It's, it's like... It is. This is the beginning of a new life. Yay! <laughs> That's what I want to say. Yay! Having fun. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is about putting in effort, working hard. Creating, creating new life. Cre and this is about creating. So somebody is going to be creating something. This is somebody that is very skilled, that is a hard worker. They are headed towards something uh, that is going to work out. It's going to work out. I put it right next to the Fool card. They may be, somebody may be creating, you know, I don't know if they're creating a new job. This could be a new job. It could be a new business. It could be a new partnership. That is going to work out. It is going to work out. We have a hard worker here who has been suffering. They've been in some sort of pain. They've been restricting themselves. But the obstacle is being removed. They're going to be doing something on a whim. They're going to be getting together, having fun, putting in effort. It's like, I'm ready to live. I'm ready to live. This is exciting. This is an exciting breakthrough. Nine of Pentacles. This is success. Hard work paying off. This is living a good life. This is living the good life. This is enjoying the, the finer things in life. There's going to be an increase of money here as well. By somebody taking a new approach and removing themselves from a situation that 
they have been trapped in, they are going to see an increase. They're going to see an increase of abundance. They're going to see an increase of money. You may have somebody here that's going their own way with the Fool card and the Nine of Pentacles. That's that's like independence. We may have somebody here that's going their own way. Or it could be even starting their own business or starting starting a new project, you know. That does lead to mater material success. You know, it leads to abundance. We have a very self-sufficient, capable, skilled individual here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. We have somebody here that is very skilled. They will be successful if they put in the effort. But they do have to break free from something or that Eight of Swords reversed wouldn't be there. Maybe they just have to let go of their fear and do something crazy. You know, do something on a whim. Somebody is going to do something on a whim and it is going to be successful. They're going to be extremely happy with the sudden move that they make but it, I have to tell you they can't ignore what their heart wants because the four of cups is up there you have to follow your heart you have your heart when you follow your heart abundance comes right after that's a fact it's not just just a myth Stepping into new territory very, very suddenly. Starting over. Starting something. Somebody may be starting a new business or they're starting a new project. They're starting a new endeavor. It's something to celebrate. This is, this is exciting. It's very exciting. I feel like they've ignored the opportunity in the past. It's like, I think you know what this is. I feel like you've ignored the, somebody has ignored the opportunity in the past. Maybe there was fear that they wouldn't be well received, you know. They've wasted time. There was lack of foresight. They were moping. They were crying because they knew they, they had to separate. They had to go through a painful separation and take a risk. You know, and fear gets in the way of taking risks. Because I mean, this is this is risky business. It is really, literally risky business. But it leads to happiness. It does, and it leads to abundance. So yeah, I do feel. Oh, the answer is yes. I just cut it to the magician. Just do it. Take action. As above, so below. This is what you asked for. Just do it. Do it now. You have the resources. You have the resources to be successful. But one, one of the meanings of the magician card is you have to be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. And that is exactly what is in this reading. You have the skills, all the skills to be successful. This is a card of inventing and creating and believing Believing that you can succeed. So I do believe we have somebody here that is, this is a doer. This is somebody that's about to do something. And I think it's spontaneous with that fool card. And, and this is, yes, yes, you will be successful. And I know, yes, take action. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Follow your heart. Do it. Take a risk. Just do it. You will be successful. Let go of your fears. Just do it. Break free from that painful situation that you have been trapped in. Let go of the emptiness. Stop wasting time. Take this opportunity. You're going to love it. Good luck.